Hi y'all, bonjour, hola, my name is Trish. If you're new on this channel, welcome. We are so glad to have you here. So if you're looking to learn Photoshop, this is the channel for you. Please hit the subscribe button so you can join the family of learners. So in today's tutorial, since y'all are enjoying these animation, I have another fun animation for you. Are you ready? Well, let's get started. Excited to show you how to create this Instagram or Facebook Valentine GIF on your photo. So to be able to create this effect, you want to look for images that are PNG that have no background. So I've pulled in these two images. So we're going to drag both. We're going to select them and I'm just going to drop them in here. I'm going to double click. So I have both. Now I'm going to turn off the top image and we are going to click on this heart image and I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to scale. So with my move activated, you realize that my transform is activated. So if you don't see your transform, press Command T or Control T if you are on Windows. And you can go ahead and you can just scale your image like that. So since I want this animated, I need to first of all right click and convert my layer to Smart Object. And then you want to go on the windows and choose timeline. Now, when this comes up, there are different options. You can create a frame animation or create a video timeline. And that's what we want. So you want to click on that. And now you want to click on this to pull it up. So once this opens up, first of all, we want to cut our animation frame to about uh, 20 seconds. You can do 20 seconds. I'm going to take it to 20 F and I'm going to do the same thing here. And I'm going to do that for my other layer. So once you have this, we want to animate this. So I'm going to collapse that so we can see this. Now, if you don't see your transform, it means that you missed the step of right clicking and converting your layer into a smart object. But if you've done that, this option for transform is what you're going to see. Now we want to animate our hearts on our subject. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my heart all the way up. So this is going to be the beginning point and I'm going to add, click on the transform, double click to accept. I'm going to go ahead and click on the transform and it will give me a starting point. Now I'm going to move my slider in the midpoint and I'm going to add another end point. Now I'm going to move my heart from where it is all the way to the bottom like that, like raindrop, but it's heart. Now, once I have it, I'm going to move my end point all the way to the end. And you see that it gives me that effect. Now, if you want your heart to be transparent, you can do that. So go into your layers panel on your layer, remove the opacity halfway so you have this cool effect and you can still see your subject in the background. Now I'm going to set this here and I'm going to go ahead and play it. So this is the effect you want. Now if this effect is too fast for you, you can pause it and go under your resolution and you can make it a 50% which is much more gradual and a nice effect. And you also want to check loop playback so that once it ends, it will keep playing it over and over again. So we'll go ahead and play this and see how it is. It's a gradual effect and I like this. So I'm going to pause this and we're going to do the same thing for the other heart. I'm going to turn that on. First of all, I want to lock my background so it doesn't move. I'm going to click on my heart 
and we're going to set it somewhere here like so and we want to go ahead and obviously so we're going to go ahead and scale it like this so we're going to set it right here and we want to go ahead and move our slider double click to accept move our slider all the way to the end click on the drop down arrow now add your first transform by clicking on that now you want to move this halfway and you want to click on the diamond to give you your next your end point now we want to go ahead and scale this so we have that effect i'm going to double click now if you want you can also reduce this a little but i think that is good enough now we can go ahead and move this all the way to the back like that now if we go ahead and we turn both on and let's play it this is the effect that we get and i like it so i'm gonna click on this and make sure that it's also at 50 this is also at 50. Now we want to add a fading effect. So click on your transition options and we want to just drop a fading effect from the beginning and also add one to the end of the other one. So if we go ahead and we play this, this is what you get. It's a gradual effect and it's nice. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this. Now we want to play this in a continuous loop. So to do that, you want to go ahead and select the two layers in your layers panel. You want to group it. Now we want to make a copy. So command J make five copy. So one, two, three, four, and five. So what we're going to do is that we want to move the bottom one midway. And we're just going to go ahead and repeat that for all of them like that i'm going to move this and set that right there and i'm going to move this and set that right there now the last one you want to make sure that your end point ends right at the end now this one we want to move this all the way to midpoint of the starting point so that when we play from beginning, we get that loop effect and it's continuous and the transition is smooth. We're gonna go ahead and test it. So I'm just gonna hit play and let's see what happens. It's continuous, but you notice that because this one doesn't, doesn't extend to the very end, we don't see the picture anymore. So I'm going to minimize this so we can see the full picture or the full frame. Now you wanna make sure you extend your picture to the end of the frame so you have something like this. Let's play it and see what happens. So you have this nice effect. So once you're done with your animation, to save it, you wanna to go to File and you wanna to go to Export and choose Save for Web. So once the window opens for you, you want to make sure that your image file is GIF and you want to make sure it says perceptual and diffusion. And then when you come here, you want to make sure your looping option says forever. Now you want to click on save. So now you have to go look for the place where you want to save this file. I already have it in the default folder. So I'm just going to go ahead and name this and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just going to click on save. So once your image is saved, you wanna go to the folder in which you have your image and I'm gonna go ahead and look for it and it's right there. So we wanna right click and you wanna open with Google Chrome and this is what you get. I hope you enjoyed this Valentine animation GIF photo effect. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye, y'all.